Good evening. Welcome to Hartwood Turning in the Stable Studio. It is absolutely roasting. 23.5 degrees in my workshop today. I'm cooking. I'm that hot. I've got shorts on. And before the safety police go bonkers, I don't care. It's too hot. I can't turn with my trousers on. And I'm not standing <laughs> here. My wife runs. So I've got shorts on. Brace yourself, people. I would. Yeah, bra brace yourself with the white legs when you get a glimpse <laughs> of them because they're pretty, uh, they're pretty white, I have to say. Now, a couple of things. You've already heard who's in the background. We've got William in the background. Hello, William. Hey, We've yo. got Terry in the background. I'll bring him in in a minute. A couple of wee announcements to make. Um, these things. First and foremost, let's uh, give you a little look there. Let, look, there's the legs. Look. Legs. See better than eggs hanging out of a nest. This is true. Uh, there's a nest of starlings around the corner here, and they look much better than my legs, that's for sure. Right, I have two of these little moisture meters, guys, that I did the uh, review on a couple of weeks ago, and I did say that I would get ask the company if they wanted to back, or should I just keep them, or what? And I said that uh, I would give them away. So I'm going to give them away. Yay. So they were not good. Oh, they're fine. They're grand. They do exactly what they said in the tin. Which one do you want, Terry? Uh, <laughs> one on I'm not, my I'm not right. Forced. But I've already, I've already got one. So, and I've had this one for a long time, and it works just fine. Uh, and it's comparable with these two. It, it kind of got the similar readings, if not, the, if not the same. So, much for one. This two ready to go. So, um, at the end of this video, if you pop into the video and put in a comment. Um, moisture meter, I'll do a draw on my next live. Moisture meters are brilliant. That's what you got to do. No, just moisture meter. That's all you need to put. I don't know. Make them work for it. Okay, moisture meters are no, Terry. My name's going to come up first anyway. No, Terry, I'm not making them come. I'm not making them work. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, good little moisture meters. Both of them, they both work and they're both fine. And they're free. I'll pay for the postage. All right. So, if you want one, Quick comment in after the after the lives uh, after the lives over, so as I can do a little giveaway. We're gonna have to wait next time you come live because I can't comment you until it's switched off. That's correct. So there's no point in commenting now. So just uh, when the live go when when this live goes to a video, if you like, is that the right way to say that? Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Um. So that's it. It's very simple. Uh, Hardware turning staff are not allowed to enter, and the earworms <laughs> are out. So that's Shut you. Shut your mouth, You are oh, that's in booked out, <laughs> isn't it? Right. Yeah. Wait, look at him tonight. Now hold on a minute, because I'm not finished. Um, today is Thursday. It's new tool Thursday. I happen to do, to take a. Don't be telling Michelle. Okay. Don't Just further up, Paul said, "Don't tell Michelle about the new lazy bolt yesterday." I don't know anything about that. I'm just reading comments. <laughs> She's on, by the way. She's on today. Yeah. Bye, Governor. Be quiet. <laughs> Shush, you boy. <laughs> anyway, I bought a new tool. And I've went to the dark side. Well, I haven't went to the dark side at all. The dark side. I bought an easy wood tool, look. It's an easy wood CI2. Um, and it came with this, this carbide car. Oh, there's the, there's the box. I'll tell you what it is. Look. Mid-sized easy rougher is what it says. And basically, I bought it because I fancied this little tool. This little tool. Bead which is the bead cutter. And there was a guy doing, guy doing a demonstration yesterday with the bead cutter. And he did beads on the inside and the outside of a bowl. And it seemed to work quite well. So I thought Seamus well, Cassidy was his name. Seamus Cassidy is exactly who it was. So I bought it. And uh, there we go. We've now got a. Right so I'll tell you we're getting a bowl and with some beads. We're getting a bowl. Well, there might be beads. Uh, my good friend, uh, Mr. Kavanagh, who just wants to give me abuse for some reason all the time. I don't know what that's about. I think we should get mixed him out juice. of the earworm. You just stop your sec. Mix, mixed juice said, could, could you change the camera? Those legs are not doing it for him. Yes, we can. Does that suit you better, Mike? No, let's <laughs> put that away as well. It's dark. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Mick, uh, not Mick, um, Paul, Paul. Um, invested in a, or a little um, 
Brooks on long neck grinder yesterday. Oh, good man. So I'm going to, he said, if you're doing a live tomorrow night, show me how to use it. So, uh, so we'll do a little bit of the Arbor Tech and we'll try that beating too as well, just for the fun of it. So this is going to be a fairly straightforward little live. I'm going to put this uh, chuck on, put this chuck on. You just have to put up with the live, guys. It's a bit of bad luck. You don't care. Just... You absolutely don't care? No, I don't care. I don't care. I just don't care. Oh, I can't get this chuck to work. Oh, my God. I cleaned it. That's that's the problem. It doesn't doesn't know what it's doing now. I cleaned it. You clean everything, Brian. No, that's true. Right there we go. So we've got a wood one screw in there. I'm gonna turn the oh, just bang my elbow. Oh, right. Turn the lay speed down. Start the lay. Turn the lay speed up a tiny bit. And get to go as slow as I can. There you go. So that's uh, about 100 odd drives. Push this on here. Let it bite, and then let it go before it actually jammed up against the chuck. Or you, it might be a bit, a little bit painful. But if with a little bit of practice, it's not very difficult. And then just tighten up. Yeah, and only got to break your arm once. Yeah, you only got to break your arm once. But if you hold it at the top and at the bottom, as soon as you just, all you have to do is open your hands. It's not, not rocket science. It's not difficult. Oh, that'll be tight enough. And we'll bring up a tailstock just to be on the safe side, which will also give us a centre mark in the middle. Put that in there. Wind out the quill a little bit. And this is a piece of sycamore, which is three inches roughly. Uh, you can see there that it's uh, thicker in one place than a three by four and a half. <laughs> so, so we're sacking, we're sacking the processor. I only charged you for three. <laughs> oh, that's true. I, <laughs> this extra big lump on this end's free then, is it? That's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, what do you like? Two rest. So, we'll start to get this into sort of round shape. Well, can it, so it's kind of, God, I need the movement. Wind the crawl out a bit more. <laughs> Wind the crawl out a bit further. Good thing about this crawl is it doesn't matter. You can know, fully out six inches and it's still as rock solid. Rock solid, yeah. Oh, not more yet. Though. Beastie of a laid. Booty in it. It is. So just screw that in tight. Lock everything down. Now, when you're locking down your tail, your uh, tail stock, don't over tighten this, guys, because that all that is to stop that vibrating. That's all it's for. It's not. It's not a lock as such. It's kind of. Just nip it up, and that's all you need to do. Just a pinch. But the other, le other levers, you can give them a bit of a heave-ho. Make sure you give it a spin before you start, so as it's not bumping on anything. And we'll start with the 3.8 bow, guys, I think. Uh, from Robert Sorby. And we'll just take the take a bit of the edge off, get this flat at this side, and then we'll think about a tanner. So again, lift speed down to zero, and start lift. Right, I'll let everybody know who's in then. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Tonight, first on the menu is Wee Val, followed by Paul Finley, returning to home. Bob. Michel Oosby is listening from the very beginning. So you could be followed by the Valley Wood Turner and Stumpy. Door 60's in. And Paul Cavanagh's in. We've heard all about him. He's still rabbiting on there. <laughs> He's not, is he? Des yeah, Des Barmouth in, Spider's Pigs in, Fred Gilliver, Mick Tews, Roy's the boy, Dowboy's in, Ben Jammin's in, the professor's also here, Plenty of Wood Dancers, Michael McEwen's also joined us, <clears throat> Ten Creek Wood Turners Cornwall has joined us, Harry Bartlett is there, Robert Boltwood, Chris from Baden Woodworks, Kevin 9K, Ruby Clare is there, Really? And scanning down said list, Harry Chitty's joined us, Trevor Huntley's there, and that's it for now. You're good. So far. Welcome aboard, people. Hope you enjoy Brian's demo tonight. So, 
So look at that and see where we are. Yeah, it's not too bad. Ben Jammy rings, you've got the legs of a 25 year old. No, Stephen they Wood dudes joined us. Hey, Stephen. Now, when I had the lay stop there, I should have been uh, should have been wise enough to move this tool rest in a little bit, shouldn't I? Yeah, man. But I forgot. So I'll do it now. Did you? And every time you move a tool rest, make sure you give it a spin to make sure it's not going to jam. Your belts will thank you for it. Is that like Ben? Ben Jam. Min. Currently 46 watching, Brian. What? 46. And uh, we've all put in the, uh, the chat ever that Doug is on at eight o'clock. I, I had no idea Doug was on. Uh, I didn't is see he on Monday blimey? that was coming on Thursday, so. Normally does Tuesday, don't he? That's what I thought, yeah. I thought you usually just cover for Mark. Oh, well. Plenty of room for everybody, so. I'll have to have a conversation with Doug about that and see what he wants to do. He wants the Thursday evening slot, quite happy about that. That's a bit better now. When you can, finish, you can finish that bowl in half an hour. Well, good, but I'm not going to. Because I have things to do to it. I'm going to go my half-inch bowl, guys, now. And I'm just going to nip some of this off. Steady. Uh, JP just put in there, he says he believes Doug is covering for Scott, and Scott is unwell. So maybe. Oh, Scott's not well, is he? All right. That's hey, Jamie, good evening to you. Hey, Jamie. Hey, JP. Good evening, everybody. Welcome along. Roy's a, boy. Roy's a boy says Ben was on his best behaviour last night at the demo. Not a peep from him. Lovely bit of wood, that. It's just disappearing under the chisel. I'm just going to move Sigma cuts lovely. Yeah, sharp chisels too. Just moving that. Yeah, everything was freshly sharpened on the pro edge before we started. Oh, it's warm, boys. Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong catch. Mick Juice wants to know if it's going to be a dog bowl. I never make dog bowls, Mick. Try and figure out where we're going to put a foot. So we'll make a little OG shape. I like the OG shape. Terry Barnett, well done, mate. Terry just said to me he's got a he got a deal last night. Somebody at the club. He got oh. uh, he got two by Patriot Chucks, oh. sea jaws, pin jaws, set of all Donald jaws and inserts, various other jaws, mostly brand new, three hundred quid. Oh, well done. Oh. Nice little that's, that, that's a good deal, is right. Yeah. So now we've got that kind of into some sort of rough shape. Let's have a look at the overhead there. Just there you go. Kind of rough shape. We've got a bit of a flat here yet. A tiny little bit of a flat there. Spirit and bears in. We'll get our pen and fill. Whichever, both. One. Right. We need a tenon. So 48 mil tenon. Using this little guy, let's just check. He is at 48 mil. A little bit too big. Put down a wee bit. That'll do. So that's ready to go. And we shall use our three eights. And that's that's the foot. So we'll go in here a little bit. Just check size that. Don't think I'm close, but we'll have a look. Yeah, I've got another 10 mil to come off that yet. So we'll just take that off quickly. That'll be 5 mil off either side. Yep. 
Got the Noel Moore. Easy. A little bit deeper than that. And just bring that on out flat then. Or nearly flat. And I wanted to make the foot about there somewhere. That should be fine. On the wrong camera for that, guys. That's all right, we can see. Oh, there we go. Oh, dear. It's close enough. We'll just make that a little bit of a better shape, that tenon. Bring that round. Damn. Has anybody else been buying any new tools today other than Guess or yesterday? Other than Brian, William and Cabana? <laughs> PK. He spent hell of a lot here. Hope his wife's watching. Yeah, and he, and he used her credit card with Don't no, he did, yeah, I. The thousands. Good job. That's the way. Right, I'll do it. I'll just have to cut that lob off at the end. I'll be fine. Put that tool away. So now we can think about what shape we want. I bought a new Arbitex, this Clint. Oh, nice one. So I'm just trying to do a little shear cut here. So I'll handle right down low, and I'm rubbing the bevel just there. I'm just drawing the tool backwards by just by shifting my weight from the mm. front foot to the back foot. Look at the shavings coming off there. Nice. That's the way to do it. Paul's got one week before the bill arrives. So that, <laughs> that, that should be enough of a cut there to, uh, to allow us to sand that, hopefully. I'll just try that one more time. It's not quite right, right at that transition point there. There we go, a tiny little angel here, shavings. Feathering off. Look at that. Wood Dude says he grabbed some spouted cherry and sycamore tree yeah. today. So it's a chainsaw weekend for him. Lovely. Yeah, it's not a great time of the year, though, to be processing no, turning wood. Trend so Creek Wood Turners in Cornwall says he got an easy wood square tool mm -hmm. for two quid. Oh, wow. Well, that was a bargain because I think that thing was 115 euros. This monstrous thing here, 115 euros I paid, which is about yeah. 100 and I'm, something pounds. I'm, and that was with 20% 20, 20 off. Uh, yeah. was, well, no, that was that was the list price. So I got 20% right. off that. Norman Greenwell's in. Hey, Norman. Hey, Norman. Okay, so we're going to try and Perfect. take a finishing cut over here. We're going to reduce this. In fact, this bit of OG is a little bit too big. So we'll just reduce that down a little bit, just a tiny little bit there. Using that little pull cut again. But I'm not Professor pulling says. it with my hand. It's the, the description of a pull cut is, is is not wonderful because you don't pull the tool. You just rock your weight backwards. That's all you do. And that should be enough to allow me to get in here now and do a push cut. So handle nice and low. Professor says, nothing for him this month. His wife wanted a new iPad for her birthday. Huh. So you've got the bevel rubbing. You can do this with no hand, with one hand. So the bevel is nicely rubbing there. And it will get to be a bit funny because we're going to come out round this corner now. So we'll just bring it on round. And it slips off. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. So I just need to shift my hips from one side to the other and let that come round the corner. We'll be losing a little bit of the height of this bowl anyway. Let's have a look, see what's that. I'll go take my face shield off now, guys, because that is absolutely cooking. Might be head. wise to make make to make the edge where you're going to be, so just in case we'll the uh, shape of the bowl changes. Yeah. See how there's a little flat spot there? We're just going to... I, uh, I think we might just lose all that. Got enough of a bowl. Uh, where's my safety goggles? Oh, there they are. So I'm removing the face shield because we've got the rough off the, the bowl and it's kind of stable now, so I've changed to my safety glasses. 
HodgePodge right. Woodworks is here. Hey, Robert. Oh, Robert. I want to lose that much in this bowl, yeah. Mm. See how much that I have to lose? Yeah. A good half an inch there. I might just take another cut and try. Yeah. I'll take another cut and try and bring that up a little bit. I'm just there. So sometimes it's quite difficult to blend that cut back in again once you've fallen off it. Hodgepodge Pod says, what is the breaking news this week then? Terry has gotten shorter, question mark. No, I'm still five foot nine. The breaking news is that I bought a new tool. But and there's two, two, uh, two moisture meters up for grabs. That's the breaking news. Another one. Hodgepodge says, is Brian wearing bicycle shorts? Nope. Why fronts? Why fronts? No, nope, it's just my shorts. Carry more hiking shorts. That's what they are. Hampton Wood Turnings is in from California. Hi, Scott. San, hey, Scott. San, San Joaquin Valley, California. Evening, Scott. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit away. That, that, that I didn't realise that flat was as far in as it is. I should define your edge first, so you know it's yeah, the well, right shape. I, know, just go I think you'll get rid of it there now. No, well, I. I'm just going to turn that right to there. Make sure it's not clunking on the chuck. That's fine. Bruce, water in the plants. Yeah, I'm shelled it out earlier. Start the lathe again. Wait, wait for the sun to go down a bit. In. Now I'm just going to do the first inch, inch and a half here. Maybe two inches. Because we'll get the rest when we start turning it from the other side. So that appears to be about right there. It is bumping a little bit, so we'll have a look, see if I need to take any more off that. I do. Still a little bit just here. Take a little bit more. Still bumping. Yorkshire gets in. I know, Glenn. Hey, Glenn. There's a knot there, that's why that's bumping now. So a little bit of tear out on the end grain there, but that'll fix that. Sort of. We just can fix around. that when they get it turned around. So do I like that shape now? That's the thing. No. Like no. No, I like this needs this this lump here needs to come off. Does it not, Terry? It does. I thought so. But I don't know you'd say that. Yeah. So nice, nice bit of OG there, but we just need to bring that. Feather this bit out. You could ask 10 different turners. <laughs> you get 10 yeah, different they'd all say different. Right, so take it from there and just rub the bevel. It's what suits your eye. Close the face a wee bit, bring that in a bit more, and we'll just take a bigger lump out of there and then bring it on out to the rim. And I just do a little shear scrape there just to blend that in a little bit. Anthony Green has joined us. Hi, Anthony. 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 Let's have a look at that. I think that should be grand. His workshop is 34 degrees. Yeah. Not surprised by that bit of news. That's that little shear cut again, shear cut rather than a scrape because we've got the handle really low 
and it just allows you to rub the bevel. So I'm rubbing the inside bevel there. You got to be careful of this that you don't catch the wing, or it'll flip the tool over in your hand and, and make, make a nasty noise. Marks. But if you're getting tiny little shames like that, you're doing the, doing the right thing. You're cutting it right then, yep. Yep. So that's fine. That's good now. Happy with that. We're just going to sand that now. Give that a quick sand. Get the tool rest out of the way. Before you sand, always make sure you move your tool rest out of the way or it could get ugly. And we don't want ugly wood done. So I think we'll start at 120 grit. See how we go. A little bit of extraction on. Or a big bit of extraction, should I say. Back a bit. Will there be any colouring tonight, Brian? I'm thinking there may be. I was just uh, testing the water, like, you know. It's a bit of sycamore. It likes a bit of I was going to say, it is a bit of sycamore, so no reason why not to. Nah, uh, still not 100% happy with that shape, to be honest. Well, change it. Yeah, I don't think it will. I think what we'll try and do is we'll try and put a bead on here. <laughs> yeah. But we'll sand that off first. Get it all nicely sanded up. We could turn the speed down a bit. We're far too fast there for sanding. Well, that's a bit too slow. <laughs> somewhere in between would be good. So somewhere about five or six hundred is perfect time, fast enough for sanding, guys. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, the bigger the bowl, the faster it goes, the further out it is. So, um... Kevin K9 says the badge works. For those that don't know, Kev pa passed his... Uh... Shooter badge the other day. He's four. He oh, got my. four. Four people uh, wants tuition now, Excellent. and he's got a demo, a demo coming up. All new turners. Well done, mate. Good. Glad to see you're using it. So that little transition there is just not what I would call lovely. So I'm just going to go back in there with a beading and pan tool. It's nice and sharp. In fact, I might actually use my skew. Sharpen up the edge. And just sharpen this edge up, just just down here. So it just be like a tiny little negative rake scraper is what I'm... Well, I need to move it back a wee bit because it's actually sitting on the bevel there. If I just pull that back. Robert, you don't want that close that it's actually sitting on the bevel to get pushed down. You need it on the flat of the tool. So Robert, Robert Broadward got a question. He says, can anybody educate me to tell me the difference between Trizac Aluminium, uh, aluminium oxide belts for two for the pro edge. He's googled it but can't find any out. Are you? Do you mean Trizac or Trizac uh, aluminium oxide material. is one yeah. belt? So uh, against what belts? Trizac's just a name, isn't it? I don't know. If, I don't know if it's a, a sort of trade name. I've no idea. I never use them because I have a diamond belt. So. We can't help you either. I just use the ordinary um, red belt. You got the um, you got the aluminium oxide belts and carbon and them belts, but um, um, Robert just, Sorby has all that information on our website. Yeah, they should have. They have. They definitely have. Just uh, but some last longer Robert than others. Sorby some... website, Robert, I'm afraid, because it's not something I ever looked at and studied because because I don't yeah. need to. Yeah. Paul Kavner says the range of grit available and uh, the length they last. Yeah. Right. Let's try to put a bead in this. <laughs> so this tool, apparently, is quite easy to bead with. So you kind of take it on center. So bring that down a bit. Oh, roughly on the center of the... Yeah, that's pretty good. And a little bit of negative rate. Hmm. Uh, you don't need to be going too fast either. Uh, we just engage the little point and see what happens. Uh, basically, all you do is pushing it in. And if you rock it back and forward just a little bit, 
the thing to watch is when you get right to the, the edge of the the finish of the, uh, the car you gotta you gotta stop just before you take too much so we're not quite there yet there's a tiny little flat there still a tiny little flat And there's the bead. Well done. Nice. Fred Gilliver nice says, what's the lifespan of a diamond belt? Well, Pete Twisted Trees uses his diamond belt nearly every day because he mm -hmm. works with it and sells yep. his stuff in several shops. And he's had it That's now, great. I think, for four years. And it's still perfect. I like that. That's that's made a really good job of that. There's, there's absolutely no tear out on that, even on the end grain. This is the end grain piece here. Mm -hmm. There's no tear out on that. Uh, th this little cutter is negative raked as well. So uh, as a yep. feeding tool, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, effective. You're happy. Uh, Quite it impressive. Yeah, it, it is. How much are the tips? Like Do we know? Uh, yeah, 30. 36 something. euros, whatever that is in pounds. Uh, oh, okay. I, threw, uh, I, threw the, I threw the price ticket away. In case Michelle's seen it. Oh, sorry. I've just, I've just <laughs> She's in the chat you know. anyway, so... <laughs> She knows now. She knows that. Anyway. Straight, straight in my bank account, so yeah, I'm really impressed with that. And, and, and to be to be fair, it doesn't even need sanded. Let's go down with that. We'll just stick about four hundred grit in that now and just finish it. Four hundred grit. A little bit of four hundred. Now we need to one need to think what we're going to do with this. What we're going to do with this outside this bowl? We're we going to colour it. Now it's pretty plain, isn't it? So it kind of needs something. Yeah. Just a tiny little rub of sandpaper there. And I have to say that little uh, bead there would be the ideal thing to put a bit of uh, gold leaf on. Ooh, I might have to do that. Oh, yeah. um, Gold leaf and, and a bit of sycamore. Yeah, well, why not? He is, he is uh, pushing the boat out there, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Obviously got it to west. It's a good friend of mine says putting lipstick on a pig. <laughs> well, you see. Lipstick on a pig. It depends, yeah. it depends what you do right now, you see. <laughs> maybe we should have cut, I should, maybe we should have colored it first and then cut the bead. Be sure not well, you can always recut the bead after you color it. Well, could I, but I'm not going to. I know that. That's what I might do is put a bun line in there to stop any and we'll just we'll just paint the paint the colour on. What do you think? Bun line in there now? Why not? Uh, Fred, no, the diamond belts are the diamond belt. There's one grade and it's two hundred grit. Two hundred grit. Yep, two hundred grit. Yep. Get hundred percent right, I'm Calico. Not sure. I think the last count they were hundred and fifty pounds each. Yeah. But uh, maybe a bit dearer than that. A little more, maybe dearer than. Maybe dearer than that, now. Daddy, I think. Yeah. There we go. A little bun line just to highlight that a little bit more. Now, let's use some intrinsic colours, will we? What do you think? Anybody, anybody, got any objections about using intrinsic colours? No. No, go for it. Good. I'm glad to hear it. My dude's going get to have something to eat. His barbecue's cooked up. So good, cheers, good uh, Stephen. On, Stephen. See you when you get back, if, if we're still here. And he, he says, yes, more gold leaf. Yeah, <laughs> more gold yeah leaf. Rob from Clingspore Abrasers on. Now, perhaps Rob could put in the chat answer to the question that Robert asked just now, or Fred, whichever. Uh, yeah. Oh, but it was between um, the tricycle and the aluminium oxide. What's the difference? Yeah, what's the difference between them? And don't say the price. <laughs> Well, the price is obvious, the obvious difference. Yeah, but so Rob, we're Rob talking about the belts the for the Pro is. Edge. Yeah. Now, what colours am I going to use tonight? Well, it's £206 now. I think we're going to go belt. with Midnight Blue at the bottom. What do you think, Terry? Midnight Blue at the bottom? Yeah, and yep. in, 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 what's the other blue? Sky, Sky blue. blue. Or, yeah. Sky Blue? Sky blue. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know the rules. The rules. Make it a bit of Wedgwood. We're into Wedgwood, Wedgwood territory now. Roy thinks plum would be good. 
Oh, you could do plum and then midnight blue and then sky blue, couldn't you? You could, yeah. 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 That's not a bad idea, Roy. Let's have a little bit of plum just to please Roy. Yeah. Now, should I do it with a brush or just do it with a cloth? <laughs> Paul Cavanagh says, phone call back in two minutes. Don't you text it out of me. I'm, text <laughs> I'm texturing the roof, you're all right. Don't texture without me. So we'll just put a bit of plum on the bottom here. Just kind of. That's plum cool, that. Let's just change over to that camera, Brian, there, please. Oh, there we go. There you go. Do you, fan you don't oh, fancy airbrushing that, then, Brian? Well, I could, but nah. Yeah. Okay. Look good. Right, UK, Rob says. Trizac is what they call engineered abrasive, meaning it is lump, clumps of abrasives formed into a shape, round, square, etc., was developed for polishing to give a very consistent finish. There you are. Thank you, Rob. So we'll just make the aluminium oxide, there. it's just aluminium oxide bunged onto it. Abrasive mainly used for woodworking sector. Yeah. Yeah, so try so, like so it's an engineered grit. Engineered grit. So this, uh, the reason I'm, I'm kind of rubbing this and, and making it sort of cloudy-like up here is so the colours will blend better. So they feather in. Feathering. Is that the word? Is, is, that, is that a technical term? Good feathering. It's good feathering. feathering. There you are now. I've just learned something today. Okay. It's called feathering. Yes. And I'll just get the foot done. I can tidy up this. The inside will be get done anyway. When we take the tenon off. Robert Potter said he won't be buying the diamond belt meetings. No. Yeah, they're quite they're quite expensive, Robert, but they're, they're well worth it in the long run. But the ordinary belts work. Just one twenty for for general touch up is 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 perfect. And you 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 you, you get weeks a month out of them. You using do. them regularly, so and they're only yeah, yeah. six or seven pounds. So they're not that expensive. You're a long no. time using it, uh, using yeah. them before you have to get the yeah. price for diamond belt. I would say. So there you go, Roy. There's your plum. And now we'll have dark blue. We'll have the old midnight blue. Blue. Kevin, starting, to get a bit, okay. starting to get a bit cooler now. It's down to 23 degrees now. Kevin okay. Nine case says bronze and blue rainbow waxes went well at the demo with chestnut. So I just want a narrow band. Like Glencoe Woodworks is here. I know, Todd. Well, that hey, is Todd. Not, not midnight blue is certainly midnight. Isn't it? Yep. Wasn't mm, expecting it. It's dark, is it? Dark, is yeah, yeah, it's dark. Yeah, it always is dark. Yeah, you, uh, in fact, it's darker than the plum. So. It is a bit, isn't it? That's why I couldn't understand why you put plum on. Yeah, well, I just put it on. I think it really wants it, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, basically. I've got a bit on there. Look, spilt it off the, the nozzle. Ah. Random belt, random belt, Sorry. random, random colours. There we go. We'll just, we'll just uh, kind of darken down that plum thing a little bit with it as well, just to mm. blend it in a wee bit there. A I just, thought, I just thought of what I might do in that situation. Though. Yeah, I know. Well, you're the artist, Terry. I mean, I, I'm only eleven. I well, I would be, you know, you, you're feathering that. I would be taking that dark blue sort of in streaks, more up. angled streaks up to, you know, just in random places up to the top of the rim, and then filling the others with the light blue, the sky blue, yeah. Mix them in. Just a thought. You can always turn it off and do it again if you don't like it. Just do it. Random, push, that's it. Push it away from you like that. Yeah, but randomly and only a few. Dark bits as well as light, that's it. A couple of real blot dark blodges. There you go. Splodges. Dark Just blodges. Splodge it on like uh, a <laughs> shirt style. Yeah, yeah, chuck it splodge at it. Splodge it on. Chuck it at it. Sky blue next. No point in messing about, you might as well just go for it. Yeah, I would take the sky blue now from the bottom all the way up. Would not dark, blend dark or two up? Two. Make it just too dark then, would it not? The sky blue's light now, isn't it? Is that the light colour? Oh, I'm about to show Put it on the top first a minute. Put it on the top and have a look. Yeah, I would take that all the way up now from the bottom. 
Come with the other two on the way on I'm going to go because, beat anyway, so no more. Because when, when you think the sky blue, you see, if there's any light patches in the plum, it will reflect blue in it. So it'll look all different. Like it's, well, well, what's the word? Uh, in, like the in, What's the name colours do? Joe Sonia's, they change colour as you turn them. Oh, ir uh, iridescent, no. Iridescent, and that would give you some sort of effect of iridescence by putting blue in the plum areas that are light. Oh, he's textured it already. This is the second bowl now, Paul. You're too late, mate. Come back to your late. So I'm just going to darken the rim a little bit with the blue, the light blue. And we're not worrying about the bead because we're going to, we'll do, we'll go leaf that, that bead. We'll do that off camera. We're not going to do that tonight. No. I tend to just do we these bowls and then see what happens to the matters. I, don't know. I see what you mean about blending the, the blue into the yeah because where you got little light bits in the plum mm -hmm. the blue will show through it will bit of a hard line there so we'll have to give that a good bit of a rub there Brian El Tenero de Madeira is in Hello, Brian. oh good man hey Brian Hi. Brian how are you, how you doing buddy this is Brian with a Y. Welcome along with it. To the mad colouring half hour. Oops, I just sprayed that all over my hand. Yes, true. Scott says, um, the word Turner says that, that um, he finds the water base dyes more difficult to blend on a piece than alcohol dark yep. based dyes. With the alcohol based dyes, you can always spray denatured alcohol, or obviously methylene spirits on it, and uh, blend them the down, yeah. to help them with the blending. Yeah, but you could also put water on water based dyes and do the same. Susie, yeah. the Swiss word turners in. Hello, Susie. Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. And I hate to tell you this, but you can use uh, methylated spirits as well on these. Which is what I've just done there. They help blend them all together. That's it. See, Colin, it turned links is in. Hello, Colin. Hey, Colin. So just a, just a spritz of the uh, methylated spirit, and just kind of blend them together. It just so, sort of reactivates my wee bit. I'm just trying to get rid of that harsh line that's there. I don't really want that. Colin says YouTube notified him 42 minutes after you started. Well, that's not much good, Colin, is it? No. Good old YouTube. You should, I blame Colin. He should be more vigilant. He should check it regularly. Yeah, I thought yeah, I thought, yeah, Colin was a webmaster, is he not? Yes. He is well, a webmaster. Well, there you go. I mean, hmm, if he can't get it right, yeah. there's a little hope for me then. A uh, little for anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. How about that? that oh, Susie said she only got notified as well. Oh, yeah, that's why Susie's late in. Six. They should be trolling six. the internet looking, shouldn't they? Yeah, no. I mean, I did say on Monday. Will Brian or like Terry or. William or somebody pop up tonight. I did say it was coming on tonight, so on Monday. So if you're not here, it's not my fault. Yeah, well. Just give us a quick uh, blast with the old heat gun just to dry it off a wee bit. It will get a bit lighter now. We're picking that light blue. That's looking good now. There's a bit of a damp patch just here, so. Yeah, it was it's just it's making it look a lot darker. It's it will come, it will come a bit just, lighter now. It's probably a, a uh, what's the name, ending it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit tear out there. Just yeah, noticed. Yeah. And grain it's going into. Mind you, I didn't I didn't sand this up to four hundred. Sure, I didn't know. I did it two. I know I did it at one twenty. Oh, that's only a test. Oh, you yeah, no man. Keep your tenant on, turn it off, do something else. Practice. Uh, well, I've got a vacuum truck anyway, so. Right, let's put some sandy sealer on that. So I've got some uh, uh, chestnuts acrylic sandy sealer here, just to hand. We're doing Paul is in. Hey, Paul. We'll give, it a little, we'll give it a little spritz with this. And that should help lighten it up a bit too. 
I'll brighten up. Brighten it, won't lighten it. Grab my roof tubes in. Hiya, Ruth. Hiya, Ruth. So she's sorry she's late, been watering her babies. Ah, uh, good on you. Yep. Someone has Water to do plants. it. Because <laughs> uh, Terry's too late. <laughs> well, she's obviously checked the list up for her. Do the water the plants. <laughs> You're sad. <laughs> She says she'll be watching this, and then she'll be watching athletics. Ooh. Well, if you watch closely, Ruth, we'll bring in yeah, hey, Ryan. Right. There's got he's, he's, he's yeah, athletically. Hey, right. he, he got no shorts. He got no. He got no. Uh, nothing. No. No trousers on that. So he's the legs are right tonight. He's showing his little. Showing his little legs tonight. Better legs hanging out of a nest in her. <laughs> Spindle. Harvey Klein's in as well. <laughs> yes, Hello, Harvey. Hey, Harvey. Spindle orientation. Yeah. Spin that up gently, just let that let the heat get at it. <laughs> Whew, it's warm. Let me just take this board away out of the way. Yeah, it's hot, hot, hot. I'm not finished that on the outside with a polish or anything just yet. We can do that later. Because I'll only be polishing down to the feet anyway. Yeah, I could burnish it up with some shavings there, couldn't I? Just letting it dry a little bit there, Terry. And we'll give it a rattle with some of these lovely shavings that I made. Some of these nice little fuzzy shavings. I said, nice fluffy and, ones. And compared to the great big ones that I took off in the beginning to get get going. Those little fluffy shavings are lovely. We'll turn the speed up a little bit. And we'll just de-nib that. And that'll shine up a wee bit. And take some of the colour off, but not yeah, much. Yeah, take a little bit off, which would be okay. Because you're doing it jet black or really, really yeah. dark. There we go. How about that? Oh, well, that's nice. That looks good. I don't know what I've done there. Makes me almost want to take out my colours. Not. You might have had a lump no, in the shaving somewhere. Oh, it's coming off, though, whatever it is. Mm. Oh, it's just about shaving stuff to the bear. That's fine. How am I getting that off there? Uh, good question, Brian. He says, hmm. I want your grit. If it's stuck in there, or is it just stuck to it's, it? It's stuck. Stuck to it. Terry, I think Ruth is getting a little hot under the collar. What's up now? What she said now? <laughs> she says, there's an awful lot of muscle and flesh on these athletes. Ooh they're pumping the tires yeah, up. I, I tell you what's happened here is that there's just been a little bit uh, thick of sanding sealer there. Yeah, and just a, just, a, just just went a little bit gosh. hard there. Just sand and it back. Yeah, it's all good. Eh? Just grab a quick bit. Four hundred grit and just give it a little rub. Yeah, a little. That's it. Yeah, just like that. That's it. And that'll get rid of it. There we go. Just a little, a bit like doing your lacquer after you've sanded your, after you've finished putting your couple of coats of lacquer on, or three I usually do, I always sand it back a little bit with 400 grit. And I'll just get rid of all Ruth the loves the colour. Calling the cheeky so and so, saying, you mean there's not enough, there, there isn't any muscles and flesh on me? There's muscles. It's muscles she's talking about, Colin, not flab. Oh, yeah, she's just corrected that by saying there's 72 years of flab. Why did I get all you on? You slice, Terry. You couldn't catch Ruth. There we go. That's nice. I'll do. I was hinting, Brian, that she should wait for me to catch her. Oh, she should wait. Yeah. Okay. I'll just give that a light dust of Sandy Sealer again. I have a problem with these uh, aerosol sanding sealers. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to use too much all the time. So. Yeah, I that was the same. Stop, isn't it? stop, stop, because you just keep spraying it. Stop. Let's get this reverse, reverse mounted into the, get it off the woodworm screw. So Raymond Wise. Take, wise. A, take that little knob off the tin and first spray in there before you screw off. Oh, aye, good idea. Good idea, boy. Oh, you're paying attention. That Terry one's in Dreamland again. Oh, no, I'm just reading the chat. I just, it, oh, see, super, supervisory capacity is passed to, to William while I'm reading the chat. <laughs> Say hello to Raymond Wise, William. Hello, Raymond. Welcome along. Hello, Raymond. Hello, Raymond. 
How are you today? So we'll just nip that little butter. 10 mil, 10, uh, 6 mil. Bull gouge. It is Terry. Relaxed muscle, that is. Relaxed muscle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rested muscle. <laughs> Isn't it funny how it's only fat people that say that? <laughs> Roots is. <laughs> He's just more muscle in his jaw than anywhere else. <laughs> she needs a good scene too. Slap it. She needs to be put on a ducking chair. Is that what you're saying, Terry? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Right, let's get rid of that so that's not going to interfere with the location on the chuck. And if I remember now this on a woodworm screw and not try and take the chuck off. There we go. Good man, Paul. Paul says clearly the cooking is a bit chewy. I have to make my muscle art. That's it. It's the cooking's fault now, is it? Yeah. But you does most of the cooking. No, no, Ruth does now. Change. We change oh, roles. Now she's role, retired. Oh, I see. She can do that now. She has After time for she's that. Cleaned now, the right? house. After she's cleaned the house, she can do the cooking. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> controversial, Terry. Controversial. And the dishes. <laughs> and the beds. Clean the bathrooms. Oh, open says me. There we go. I'll just hold that gently in there. And we'll bring up the tailstock just to kind of. Cone center. I'll just push it in a little bit with that. I am, Rob. I am spoiling her. Doctor Bob's in. I've been watching Bob. for a while. Riding home. Freya's doctor's appointment. Uh, now mm. I am home, and it's raining still. It started Sunday. Woo! We haven't had rain here in a month. No, nope, me not not here either. Tremendous. Get on, Bob. Right. Raining, eh? We need it here, actually. We do, we do. My lawns are all gone brown. She does pay for lunch, Todd, quite often. Well, most of the time. My, most of the time, right, Terry? Uh, quite often. <laughs> Every day. We had a guy this morning. We had a guy early-ish this morning, so I missed breakfast. We got went to, went to uh, where did we go? Come on, Costa <laughs> Coffee. She bought me a breakfast bat and a piece of cake. <laughs> Boy, Gavin, this is, I hung a photo of my wife in the kitchen with the word employee of the month on it. Imagine how happy she'd be when she sees it. <laughs> Go on, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Imagine how happy she'd be. <laughs> uh, and, t and tell me this, uh, tell me this, Paul, was there, was there a school day today or was there not? Yeah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> She lamp you around the head with that, Paul. Yeah, the cake was a freebie. That's about us flat, so we're going to do a little bit of texture around here. It's not going to be very much. But we'll take one cut in the way here. Doing, yeah. Change that to that. Pauline Kavanagh wants to see you texted, didn't he? And down into the middle. And that'll do. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, we'll just text, texture that now. We'll do a little bit of texturing that. How loose Easy. is that knot? Oh, look at that. Mm. Nah, that's pretty solid, though. Yeah, about it. You don't want to It'll jump right. out when you go with the texture into it. Right. Yeah, what I normally do when I'm texturing, it depends what kind of texture you want, of course. But if you want... Ask Paul. Paul, what kind of texture do you want to see? He, want, he wants to see the Arbortec uh, cutter in use, I think. Oh, well, get on then. Start retching it out. Get on. This, this, Hack it about. You want to see this, boy. Is that what you want to see? Hack it about, yeah. Lines all the way out there, come from the middle out. Yeah, well, let's take the tool rest off for now. Then, 
If you're going to make a bowl, just make the bowl half inch or inch wide, you know. So yeah, just you can... small. Yeah. In, yeah. And I think to remember with arbor tech is make sure you, you switch over and off. Oh, is that off or on? I can't remember. I'll unplug that hair dryer. Plug that in. I did get it right. So the arbor tech has got a, a zero and a one. So zero is off or O is off and I is on. Hey, this spins in this direction. So don't use it like that. It'll shoot away over there. Use it like this and, and bring it towards you. So I'm using two hands on it. And I'm, I'm actually bringing it into my, like a, like a wooden tool. I'm going to hold it into my body. And then I can just bring it across there. And what you can do is you can use the guide or the, the guard to get a depth gauge, if you like, and just drag it across. But I can do not so we're not going to spin this. We're just going to leave it. So we'll put that over there and we'll just do kind of random and we'll move it by hand. So switch it on. And we'll start in the middle because we can cut the middle away if we make it too deep or anything. Get a cut and just bring it on out. I'm being mindful that I've got this bead on the outside. I don't want to go through that. And I'll try and avoid that nut. So it's just a little bit random. Put a couple extra bits in there. Some a little bit deeper. And some not so deep. He can't answer yet, Ruth, because he's using that machine. Nice bit of kit to play with. I got one of those. It's lovely. Too far. Yeah, I have one. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> oh, it's great fun. You could get really precise now and put your tool rest in and rest it on your tool rest and bring it out and use your um, indexing system as well to make. Um, a regular design, if you like, but it kind of makes life a bit more difficult. So I tend to just go for random on these. Yeah, it looks nicer, I think, just going random. Yes. Make sure you wear no protection for this. Because these little chips do fly about a bit. So we'll just go around here and just fill in some little bits. It cuts really well, doesn't it? It does, especially with the, the, the cut over the carbide tips on. But you have to be careful when you first use it, Paul, to just yeah, gauge it, how quick really it sharp. grabs you. And how quick it grabs you. You know, pull it... it, it Hold it really tight for the first go until you get used to it. Try it on a sacrificial piece first before yeah. you. Until you <laughs> yeah, but just the actual speed of it, 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 it bites in. Then you, you can, once you get the feel of it, you know you can, you know, how you use it. Like a buffing wheel, isn't it? You put it on a buffing wheel with a thousand revs, and all of a sudden the wheel just rips it out your hand while you're holding the buff. Because you're not used to yeah, nice ball you, ball you need to it. across the floor. That's it, yeah. Bang, bang, wallop. Start again. <laughs> Crash, bang, wallop. And keep your fingers away from the vents where the yeah. where you can see the silver bit meets uh, the... The vents uh, here, look, I'm holding it on the neck. That's what cools so the it. Vents are, the vents are free. And although sometimes and you, you can uh, use... If you want to see how, how well this digs in, Paul... Okay, it digs in. It will, it will, it will hollow up over you if you want. So you can carve with it as well if you wanted to make a bowl. It was designed for carving, wasn't it? But uh, yeah. Why am I trying to stop that with the lid? Why did I do that? <laughs> it was just wrong. Uh -huh. 
Turn so on. there it is. Little That's Arbor a wicked cutter. little cutter. Yep. It really is. Maximum's 20,000 RPM on it, it says. Two inch cutter with two cutting teeth. Let me just unplug that before I stick my fingers in that. So there's two Why little cutters. Harsh? I know. One there. It's actually not that hot. It's not hot at all, in fact. Two little cutters, and it does a really good job. Uh, I did notice that Stuart Farini has, has now has a Mampa cutter. I think Steve has yeah, one as well now. That's three cutters. It has on three it. cutters on it, which is a bit more, Amazing. Uh, apparently a bit more balanced and produces a finer cut. You see, there's quite a lot of um, broken fibers there, mm. fuzzies as I call them, little fuzzies. Cut. So it produces a much cleaner cut. Uh, if you if you want to sell this piece, you'd be going around here and you'd have to take all these little fuzzies off now sand them in. You have to get down into all the little grooves and kind of sand them because they are torn, the grain is torn out in there. But what most people right, do... There's, a few, there's, been a, there's been a few things said while you were doing that, but we didn't, you know, Go ahead. didn't stop you doing that. But uh, first of all, Raymond Wise says, Terry, your good lady will be taking over your turning soon because oh, she's doing so much. I'm hoping that, Raymond, and then I can have Sundays off. Uh, Grandma Ruth says she likes that, Brian. The cupboards in the background, they look so neat for a man cave. Where do you get those? Did you make them? Uh, no. No, you didn't make anything, did he? <laughs> no. I was gifted them by a joiner friend of mine who uh, installs kitchens. Right. There's a story behind this kitchen. So that's taken most, most of the fuzzies off. Paul's so ordered that just... cutter today, Brian. He's got... He did? Yeah, you did. Good man. Well done. <coughs> I must uh, give them a ring and tell them that I've got a sale from them and see what happens. <laughs> Nothing. That's what I'll happen. So I'm just quickly giving that a rub in there just to try and tidy up any little fuzzies that's not there. So that was 80 grit just to get the worst of it off. But it hasn't gone down in here. So. Paul said he ordered the cutter today. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. He'll be up, up and running soon. I knew he was going to. Trip to the hospital. Yeah. Shh. That arrives. Don't be putting a scud on him, Terry. He's coming down here. To, he's bringing me a bowl to have a look at. Okay. He's having a little issue with, so we're going to have a... Get it down here and have a go and see can we... I think it's one of those bowls that has a little bit more air than it has wood. Right. <laughs> so, Clint, it, Wood Dancers wants to know about the cut saw. Blades. Have you ever used those? Cut saw, yeah. Um, I have cut saw blades. I'll show you them too. Uh, I have two or three different cut saws. Uh, so I've got other stuff in, in my box as well. So if I just move that out of the way and uh, switch that off. So there's a little cut saw bar. That, these ones have got uh, one eighth shaft, so they fit in a Dremel or in uh, any sort of multi-tool and they're a good little good little tool for cool. different and you get different styles that's sort of spear shaped if you like and that's a, a round a dome head uh, which you can use to penetrate if you remember the mushrooms that i made yeah uh, the shunt is, sh is it chanterelle mushrooms hi chanterelle mushrooms and, uh, yeah, chanterelle. that's the cutter i use for that they give me that deep groove so there's those kind of cutters um, but they don't fit on this. No, don't, they don't fit on the Proxon, obviously. And they then the you, get they or these, the uh, you get these kind of cutters as well. These are the uh, CAT tools, K-A-T, or K-A tools, uh, dot com. And these are the Nick Hagar Signature Series. And that thing is a beast of a cutter. It just eats wood. So be careful with those. All right. But in the box with your, with your uh, long neck grinder, you'll get a flap disc. Uh, I think that's 80 grit. Feels a bit There's another so. little cutter, Brian, it has like a chainsaw teeth on it. Have you tried that one? Like this yeah. one. you got one there. It's, it's, you can't get them anymore. They, they don't supply them anymore. They're, uh, they're not made anymore. Right. They're not made anymore. Right. They used to come with the machine, but they, they don't dangerous. anymore. So they're deemed to be a little bit dangerous. But uh, okay. you're right, it's just exactly like a chainsaw tooth. Have you and tried that I one? Used, no. Yes, I used that in yeah, the beginning. Brilliant, that is. Yeah. And it, it does re it leaves a nice fine little line. 
Right. If you want to, uh, you know, you get, you can do these little bowls where you can cut this in one direction, then go in the back and cut it in the other direction, so as you get yeah. that lattice effect, that'll do that. Get a nice fine little lattice. You also get little arbors with uh, Velcro pads on that you can use as a sanding tool. Oh look, spare one. Oh look. Oh, didn't know I had a spare one. There you go. Oh, could have gave Paul that yesterday. He no. could have. Never mind. So he can always cancel the order. There are loads. He could indeed. I. There are loads of uh, tools or additions that you can put into your Arbitec. Um, but it depends what you want to do. So let's do something with that now, and we'll we'll color this as well. What color we're going to make that now, Terry? Well. Green. No, not green. No, green and blue. Brown. Green on the inside. Ooh, yucky. Red. Oh, red again. Red again. <laughs> it's always red. We don't have to do it red. You, can, you can do it dark blue. You can do it the same color sky blue because the sky blue is on the outside I'll do it at the top. Blue. So as it comes over, it lightens again because you've got no dark blue there. I'll do it in sky blue. Because I just have to have a little bottle of sky blue to go on my air. Perfect. So. Would you put black in the cut lines and don't, just sand the back a bit? Don't get any on your legs. <laughs> I'm just going to do it in sky blue and sand it back. And leave the sky blue in the texture. Is that a plan? Good plan. So let's, let's spray that on the floor first. Spin the lathe. Nice and slow. I see you in that spinning the lathe nonsense. Well, if you spin it fast, it's quite good as well because you'll get it all there. And then you can spin it backwards and you'll get the other grooves that you missed on the way. You see? <laughs> it depends on how, how much concentrate you want, you know, how much saturation you want. Well, I want the grooves done. I tend just to do it stationary. I'm not a great fan of doing that. I like to do it stationary. Then I can get it into the grooves. You have a nice blue lid when you're finished. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be all right. It's great. I'll just spray it with some grey primer. It'll be fine. So this is a two position brush, so you press it for air and then pull back for paint for, for the gold juice. Ronnie, it's sky blue. Just as well I have some more, eh? He's facing it, Paul. Yep. Where is so be blue? careful Morris will end up with the blue bot blue bottom. Oh, but he's Morris right. is he's facing right. it, isn't he? Morris is already blue. blue. He's a blue mouse. So I just used the little squeezy bottle and just fill that up again. Easier to undo it and pour it in, isn't it? Well, if you want to be bothered, take an unscrew that and try to pour it in there, Terry, you work away and just see what state your fingers are by the time you're finished. <laughs> Don't you ask know me how he knows know that. that. <laughs> Don't ask me how he knows. <laughs> Well, I've already tried that. There we go, that's better. Now we've got some cool juice. Put plenty on. Actually, you could have used the sprayer on the bottle, couldn't you? Could have, I. Because you've got a sprayer on the bottle. Yeah, know. but it's, it's not It's not good. Yeah, it's not accurate. It goes everywhere. It's, yeah. it's big and blobby. And oh, I don't use bit, that. It's a bit like mustard blobby. There we go, look at that. That's perfect. Look at that. Wonderful. Don't need it in the middle. There's a bit of tear out up there too. Again, I forgot to sand it. For sure. Don't worry. Who cares? It's only a piece of show. Piece. It was basically just a piece to show Paul how that works. I'll let you guys see it as well. So there you go. That's that. And we'll use a 
hot air gun again just to get that. Like I need a hot air gun today. Yeah. 23 degrees in here. But anyway. High heat on the, on the, on the air gun. As well as not cherry, it would be lying on the floor split in half by now. I turned, right a cherry gob I, I turned a nice cherry gobble today, and it split at the bottom. Oh, cherry in it. Brian Eltonero de Madeira says, Brian, question, Brian, could you, could you spray your legs with some orange? The glare isn't good for my eyes. <laughs> I'm not uh, justifying that with a response. Rob from Klingsport says, "Stop forgetting to sand." I've a lot. Of, I have a lot of grandkids to feed. Oh, oh that's true. I sorry, Rob. <laughs> Good matter, <laughs> sorry, Rob. <laughs> well, I've just had an idea. I'll go do something else now. Oh, where's that airbrush again? <laughs> We're going to put a little bit of orange in this. Don't ask me why. I just had a notion. Have I got any orange? Oh, there's no orange in there. I need the bottle. Oh, there's 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 there. Why did I think about them, Stanley? Unprepared as well. I always, I always, Stanley. I, mean, I was relying on you to, to come in early and, and uh, help me, but you fell asleep again, so. Well, it's all the work I have to do, don't I? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, so again, I'm just filling this little orange thing up. You're bigger, you please. <laughs> right, writing lists. For <laughs> right, writing a list. <laughs> Oh, poor Ruth. I don't know how she puts up with you. I, I don't know either. She loves me. <laughs> she loves me. She's demented. Poor woman. Unfortunately, when she was very young, she plucked one of those dandelions. And the last thing she plucked out was, he, she loves me. He loves me. And that was it. it she put, he loves me not. Right. Maybe it wouldn't have happened. So I'm just going to put a little bit of orange in there too. Just to, just to make it different. Yeah, just, just, uh, just because you can, just because it, yeah. I took, I just took a notion it's your of my show, head. your show, just, you can do what he wants. I just took a notion in my head to put orange on it. I don't know why, but I just, uh, so we'll see what, so you're we'll acting like Stuart Freeney, eh? Yeah, <laughs> just, just stick it on there and see what happens, eh? Well, if it resembles a pizza, you know the next time not to do it. Todd at Glen Cove nominates Ruth for a mega sainthood. <laughs> yeah. I'll see that's maybe, yeah, that's maybe all right. I think, what do you think? Is that all right? No, everything's what? fine, Brian. Whatever you want to do, mate. Is that that's looking it. like anything at all? Everything is fine. We'll see what happens when you sand it back. Right, leave that there. Leave that there. Put it over there. Let's give it a quick rattle with the hairdryer again. Are you sanding it back or cutting it back? I think I'll just give it a rattle with a bit of 80 grit first and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, good. That'll work. I might put a line out here. Although, yeah, maybe not be able to. Paul Cabot so is that... turning into, into a poet. Well, that there. Uh... That orange hasn't done very much at all. But it might when it gets lightened up a bit or brightened up a bit with the sand exhaust. Paul says, just... right now, Martin's head's just popped up. Orange on blue, it can't be true. He'll be on the way to beat you. <laughs> nice ah, well, who cares? Um... Well done. Yeah, you can see the orange as well now, Brian. You can see the orange as well. I'm not sure you can. Oh, you can a little bit. I can see it. No. Got a orange, orange hue. Yeah, because I've got quite a dark colour in there, I could, I could always put another light colour in that. Yeah. That is going far too fast for sanding. We put lemon over the top or something, or honey. Gary Glass is in. Hello, Gary. Hi, Gary. Hey, Gary. It's still too fast. No, that's too slow. He says, good evening, Brian and Lugworms. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually been turning for a change. Good news. Good on you. Who got it, Is he at home? Yeah. He's been turning. 
Good man, Gary. Right, let's have a look at that, see what that's like. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Interesting. I'll just keep sanding that a bit, a little bit. Just get this edge done. And we're going to add another colour now. What colour are we going to add now, Ty? What do you think? Uh, lemon, uh, long, uh, honey. Honey. Yeah. Let not just make these things look black then. Let me just blow that off. I know you shouldn't really blow, but um, I haven't got much option with all that texture. Shouldn't blow what? Of course you should. Blow, blow the dust off. Oh, don't worry about that. You got extraction on up the top, haven't you? Extraction's on, and my air filter uh, AC400 is on as well, so uh, I'm not really liking this out here, so it'll be okay. Oh, no right, what, are we, what did you reckon there, honey? Well, could you? Yeah, well, yeah. I've got some. Grandma Roof Tube says the gir our girl got fourth in the 100 metres, damn it. Obviously, oh. she's on to the Olympics now, not the Olympics, the athletics now. <laughs> it sounds like wait, it. Wait, waiting for the men to come on. Uh, that's what it will be. Waiting for Linford. But she does say, Brian, that looks so good. So she's yeah. keeping one eye on it, Brian. She's keeping one eye on the shoe. She's good for it. And the central ball you, part is cut out, so it'll look, it'll look great. Yeah, that's the thing, when it, the middle's out. Yeah. At least she pays attention, unlike you, Terry. Pardon? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what Yellow and blue does make green spider spin. Oh, but no, it not when not when the blue is dry. Honey. The piece that Wayne turned with the, he used the Arbor Tech, he, he spun the lead and run across. Really, really looked a million dollars. This brush is not behaving. There we go. Did you see that piece, Brian? I did. Uh, Wayne's yeah, braver than me. Good. He does some good stuff. Spinning the Arbitech, I'll tell you, that's... It's amazing. It's, it's not... Turn the adjuster oh. at the back of the thing. I seem to have a little bit of a blockage. No, it's just a blockage. Put the needle back in, eh? Might work. Nope, not working. It's okay, change guns quickly. Douglas Mungham has just joined us. Hello, Douglas. Don't mess about with hey, Douglas. Let's try a different gun. I've got six on the damn things. That feels better. We'll try a different gun, see what happens. It does, Dr. Bob. Yeah, he said that reminds yeah. him of the beginning of an old TV series in the 60s called The Twilight Zone. I remember watching that. For the next 30 minutes, we're in control of your television. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Do not adjust your set. Doesn't that look nice? And I'll tell you for why, Brian. Because you're going to do a gold bead on the other side. Oh, yes, it is. It is going to be gold on the outside. That looks not too bad. But I don't like this kind of rough bit here. But it's just adds to the character. Well, that's what I'm saying anyway. I don't care. It's part of the... Uh, it's part of the aesthetic random, of the piece. Part of the randomness. Now, how big a bowl do we, do we wish to have? It is a tiger bowl, Anthony, as you say. Tiger bowl, yeah. I'll start with a small bowl. Outside, and see how outside the black anyway, then you're in the dark. Yeah. You know. You can work your way out a bit if need be. Yeah, just yeah. dig it out but first. I have to be careful here because I, I did all that carving in there. Mm. So I'll just go in there slowly so I get a kind of smooth cut. <laughs> carving, you butchered it. <laughs> you butchered it, yeah. Yeah, I did I. Well, I just was demonstrating how effective that little tool is. It's a beast of a thing. I changed up to my 3 8 bull gauge. Spider Spin said... I know it's blue, um, 
but it looks black and yellow. Can somebody tell Mark, a gentleman, that black and yellow does work? Oh, don't be cruel. Didn't work for him, that's all. I hear shotguns outside in the fields. Means there might be less pigeons making a row tomorrow morning. It's not pigeons here, it's um, magpies. Probably hundreds of thousands of pigeons here. Living next to all the cornfields and things, you know. Maybe you can coo in there either. Damn things. So the first lot of cuts there were just roughing cuts just to get rid of some timber. And now I'm using deploying uh, a, fin a finishing cut. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm there yet, mind you. Lewis is in. Hey Lewis. Hello, Lewis. And the closer you get to the middle, the slower you can advance the tool. Because it's all about the speed of the wood over the cutting edge. Let's have a look at that. See what that's like. Oh, that's terrible. And it's a slow oh, race at the centre of the wood, isn't it? There's a little, mm. knot, a little knot in there too. That's what caused that bounce in there. No. I didn't see that. We'll make this a little bit bigger then. Let's see, can we get further in? Don't take the edge too far away, though, just so you spoil the No, I want to leave as much as I can. I just want to try and get past that little knot if I can, Terry. Mm. All I'm doing. But you'll have to go... S well, no, you don't have to. What you need to do now is... Well, if you're happy with that size of dish, you need to bring the inside in a bit. The outside in a bit. You need to bring the outside in a bit. Yeah, you need to flatten it, you're turn it flat. You're going to have to explain that. Yeah, turn it flat, turn it, turn it flat. Turn what flat? I start on the outside and turn That's the that. yellow off. Turn Bring it back it off again. Yeah, not not all the way, just enough to make that a third and two thirds. Because at the moment you're not. So oh, you, you, want to make, make, you want to make, make a wee white edge on this edge? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, to give mm. the bull that look. Mm. Trust me. Used to be an AA man, trust me. Stop. Right, stop there now. Make that make that and then stand back and have a look at it. Make it crisp and clear though. Make it, make sure it's not. Yeah, crisp. I get your I get your idea, Terry. I'll I'll do it coming in the way, but make it crisp and then you can take it in gradually just enough to make those ratios look perfect. The ratio that will set a whole the, new the thirds. To bring the, the third. bowl alive, that will. The whole thirds. Uh, in fact, I'll use my little ten mil for this. No, we didn't get any gold leaf yet. I'm a second on. Even. He's still busy. Is that what you wanted, Terry? That's what I wanted. Hang on, let's have a look at that then. Hang on. That's a knot. Yeah, don't worry about that. Oh, I think you need to come in a bit more, maybe another eighth of an inch on that line. In. And then we'll look <laughs> for you. I'll, I'll just come in all the way and we'll still do it again. Is that what no, 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 no. <laughs> but no, you don't do that. Another eighth of an inch, you think? I think so. Just well, let's have a go. Let's have a go. Active wise. Perspective wise. It's looking better. Looking better. Tad more. Mm. But it's looking better than it was. Getting a sharp, real sharp edge on here, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. but you can, you can feather that edge at the minute. Uh, yes. No, the yeah, sharp edge on the outside of the boat. Just sand that off. Can oh, I'm not worried about that. That's not this bit. It's this bit here. This bit. We'll take it in at an angle so you still get it white. Take it the other way. Yeah, it. come out the other way, yeah. Chamfer yeah. it back. Yeah, that way. Yep. Just want a tad more, maybe another eighth, and that's it. it. That It gives it perspective, edge and middle. 
Tyler's Murfield's in. Hello, Dan. Hi, Dan. How are you, Dan? And or Kay. And or Katie. Slightly yeah. cove that now to the outside. I have, the I have. I've just brought it down yeah, into yeah. the if we're yeah. as an, uh, what a ball do. I've got Lewis says that looks left. great, Brian. He's back to work. Bye, Lewis. Bye, Lewis. <laughs> See you later, Lewis. Just popped Good. in his AI. Poor guy's having a torture of a time. So I'm just going to make a little cove in here, right? So just there. And then bring it back out to the edge. It hey, don't free your bead, mind. No, the beads, I've got enough room. I looked at the bead there, Terry. Okay. That's, that's actually better now. Better so better that's better now. looking better, Brian. Yeah. There we go. It's looking tiddly for widdly. I'm not convinced about the colours, but yeah. It's Dan, because Katie doesn't use that account. So every time you see Taylor's Murfield, oh, it's, Danny yeah, okay. it's Danny Boy. Evening, Dan. How are you, buddy? She likes to be her person. Don't know why. <laughs> Don't know, Dan. Um, Can't understand it. We mean to. We'll just we'll give that a light sand there and a light sand on the inside. Yeah. Not too much. I can find good. my find my sander. Oh, there it is. Uh, that's one twenty grit. We'll go with one eighty. Put the eighty in the way. Put the eighty out the way and one twenty out the way, and we'll go with one eighty. We'll just do the inside first. Probably better power sanding this, but this will do. Doesn't have to be perfect, this. We're just here for a bit of entertainment tonight. Yep, Gary Glass is asking you, are you doing a demo at the woodshed on Tuesday? I is. He is, Gary, as you see. And it's not, this is not what I'll be demonstrating. Oops. I fell off of that a wee bit. Have a look. Dr. Bob says, and now you could put a clock movement in the center and it'd be a wall hanging. Good. <laughs> there you go. There's an idea. Oh, I'll have to show you the, the wall hanging bit, guys. That's your tiger or the, bow. Or the freestanding uh, bit. Now, I mean, I could go all out here and we could uh, recolor that and recolor the inside, but we're not going to. We're just going to give it a spray of sanding sealer. See without liven it up any. It's a bit plain timber, I have to say. Gary's gonna bring some popcorn, he says. Good man. Bring, bring some rotten up. tomatoes, you can throw them at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. we'll, just, we'll just spin that up nice and slowly. Douglas has a question and he says, William, how are you managing not to laugh at Brian with his legs out? I tell you, myself and Terry, we Get got it all over system before the lights. Yeah, we started. did before we came on. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it. I've had enough of these. <laughs> I've had enough of these. Eh? Dan says, do it in pink. Do, do it in pink? I do the outside in pink. You're a shocking man for pink, Dan. I'm starting to worry about you. <laughs> right, that's it. I'll second, I'll second your happiness now. That's the new camera view, boys. That's what you're getting for the rest well, of the you night. Pull them down then. So you're going to pull them down then? Come, blimey. Look at them legs. Look, look, look how white the legs the, are. Look. Don't do the chills. Jeez. Oh, pair of milk balls. <laughs> These are bad. Leave me alone. I'm old. True. And that's that's the first time my legs have been out this this year, so. <laughs> Let's have a look now. There we go. One little ball. Oh, it's all. It's all. Run. The colour ran. Sprayed it. Uh, I can't believe should that. Sandy sealer. I can't believe it's sand, sandy sealer, should, isn't it? Should you, use, you should use cellulose. That's a nice sand effect. Sand it off. Yeah. Yeah, well, actually, do hit it again and spin it really quick. Aye. And make a mess my workshop. Well, you know, but we'll just see what it looks like on the edge. And... No spray it. See what happened there, mate. I spray it now. These are funny. I'll tell you know, it's good. dried, so you have to spray it again. And then yeah, I'll just, then put, I'll really just put a thicker layer quick. around, yeah? Really wicked. Get it really going. Give it yeah, a second or two to 
Yeah, it's starting, it's starting to go there. It's starting right, to, to go towards you. Stand out of yeah. the way of it and wallop. Full speed. Well, yeah, that'll be, right. that'll be right, Terry. Not full, but I don't want to do it. That'll be, that'll, be, that'll, be, that'll, be, that'll be right, Terry. That'll be right. Where is my thing? Uh, we should have a, a thing for doing this. Uh -huh. Everybody wants to know where your hairs on your legs are. Do you wax? She says. I've got hairs on my legs. Are you blind? Sally, see if you try now. Do it again now. No, I'll just do it again. Sorry, Terry. Stop, stop panicking, Terry. Yeah, but you build it up too much, it won't go at all. You ready? Really fast. Fast. Really fast. Well, that's 2,332 revolutions, Gary. New effect. New effect. Let's see what happened. Ooh. There, look at that. There you go. <laughs> that's it's the bleeding tiger. <laughs> that was wow. in red. That would have been good. I well, see. Now, you know what you've done now, Terry, don't you? <laughs> to get some red now. That's primary colours, isn't it? Red, yellow, and blue. Yeah, we'll just throw a bit of red, red on. Green, and blue. Uh, Ruby, is that what we want? Ruby or flame? Flame's no, nice. No, flame, flame. You want? You want flame? Flame's a nice red, isn't it? Just a little, just a bit, <clears throat> and you know, round it. And yeah, then, just, just half a bottle on it. Yeah. And just actually, you could probably. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you might. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sure. Oh no, I'm running out of flame. Oh, heck. That's Back not to good. the carpentry store. Back to the carpentry store. <laughs> oh, no. No, I get these up at the woodshed, so they're all right. I don't have to go as far as I was Paul Kavanagh, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> Road trip. He's No, he's working tomorrow. He's, he's no chance. He's not good anywhere tomorrow. So we'll put a bit of red in this now. Does Paul still work? Oh, look, it's going to kind of orangey colour now, look. Prime. Oh, work, is it? Oh, look at that. Oh, we'll no, spin, it, spin it, spin it, spin it quick. Spin it quick. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll bolt him up first. Now spin it. Go on, quick. Whoosh. Do it. Look. I didn't know you was young enough is, to work, is that, Paul. Is that, does anybody else just go into their workshop and mess about, do they? Yeah. Good. Uh, oh. That's it. It's done. Candy floss, anyone? <laughs> sure, sure for any you eat your heart rate. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, what a mess that is. <laughs> yeah, well, you can sand that off as well. I'll just cut it off now, won't it? It'll be easy. Yeah. It'll not be hard to cut off. Don't know why that's all like that. Add a little bit of sanding sealer in there. And now span it. Well, I can say one thing the tenon is good. <laughs> Tenon's old enough, and if it came off, it'll only hit the side of that. Yeah, it only hit cover. Bounce it and bounce about the workshop. Mm. There you are. That's a take that off. <laughs> <laughs> take a gouge to that piece, will you? That's just where I'm going now. <laughs> so this this complex is, ble is bleeding now. It's a bleeding heart bow. So what we do with that is then, because we've had a wee experiment. Yeah. We just do this. Oh, wait a minute, that's 3,200 red slow today. No, I don't want it that fast. 1,200 will be fine. So we'll just do this. And we can start all over again. Right again. Lovely old if, job. If you wanted to. So don't be afraid to play. Don't be afraid to practice. What is it all about? Just have a go. Paul says, thanks for the Proxon demo, Brian. I'll maybe not follow your colouring approach, though. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, colouring is... Uh, 
bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. Tonight. It's a bit of a mystery. But if you don't actually throw paint on it, you never go learn what happens. Yeah. Exactly. It's all right for these guys who've been painters all their life and know what they're doing with colours, but the only painting I ever did was uh, a bit of a motion. Actually, that looks quite good there, Brian. Oh, oh, gee, what was just killed? Something just fell down. Oh, my, whatever. Yeah. I need to take a bit more off it then, don't I? Mm. Let's do a bit more. We're still not done in my bead yet, though. Oh, so that's so. good. But we'll slope this in a little bit. Take a little bit more out of it. And hopefully we're down past the... Uh, hey, what we'll do, we'll mess about with that beading tool in a minute, too. Just to finish this off. That's not bad. Let me try and get that nice, a bit flatter than that. I think I need a sharper gauge, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Use this little one. Trying to get a really nice cut here, just take my time. Slow advance rate. Let the tool do the work. Watch see when you fall off the end here that it doesn't shoot forward. So use your left hand as a brake. Just like that. Well, I've just bumped into the controller. And we'll take a little bit more out of the middle. Let's get a decent cut on it. I've slowed that down too much, so I'll speed it up a little bit. Fell off the cut there. Just fall back into it again. There we go. That should be that. So now back to a nice blank canvas again. Perfect. Let's have, let's have a little look at this beading tool again. Where did I put it? Aha, here it is. So let's try and put a bead on the face of this now and see can we get a nice bead on it. I was just thinking, Brian. Yes. If you line up the beading tool with the bead on the back uh -huh. and actually cut through, you'd have two round beads running you on the end. That might yeah, be nice. Might. Be different. I don't know if it's going to match that, Terry. I don't know if it'll work. Nah, it won't. Okay. I don't think it'll work. Okay. But let me just put a bead in here. A nice concept, though, Terry. Yeah, so you have double bead on the edge. Yeah. One on the side, one on the on the front top. Mm. And then you cut that piece off, you know what I mean? So again, you're just creeping up on it until it just touches the end, just like that. And that should be a little tear out. And there's a little bit of tiny, tiny bit of tear out on that. No, you got the knots bouncing okay. in it, mind. Yeah, that's so we'll just come in a bit. We'll do another bead right next to that one. So just line I'm lining up the left hand to um point onto the right hand point of the last one. That's it. Same again. And uh, once more. Quick beads, aren't they? They are. <laughs> they were certainly nice. Each one perfect. So I'm just slightly downhill, yeah. if you like. The beading cutter's negative rake, though, isn't it, as well? It yeah. is a little bit negative rake, yeah. There you go, and that's about equidistant there and there. Just a little bit more on the inside. All right. Excellent. That's a different effect, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what a treat. 
Now, if you took your, really took your time with that, you could get the beads absolutely perfect. There's a little bit of tear out just here, and that must be the end grain, I think. I can't really see the grain on this. As Brian was saying earlier, there, when you approach the, the deepest part mm -hmm. of the of the yeah. cutter, just as it kisses the wood, you need to stop. That's right. Because if you push forward, so, it tears it out worse. There's a little pointer. There's a, there's a little pointer. So I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that cutter? Yeah. 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 Bring it down to the, bring it down to the middle of the bow. You can see the cutter That's there. Right. Yeah. So just right in here, right in the very bottom of the gully, the whole gully is here. So when you get to there, you, you can actually see it as it creeps in, it creeps inwards. As soon as it touches there, quit. Get out of it. As soon as you get a tiny bit of dust. Because if you, you see the shaving starts, coming off of that part, you know to stop. Yeah. Yeah. If you see the shaving coming off, you probably went too far. Yeah. But that's a that's a that's an immense little tool, I have to say. Thirty something pound for that little cutter. Paul says he's discovered today that the cutter fits on the smaller handle as well. I think the smallest handle is only sixty pound. It's uh, this is this is a CI two hollower. Any it'll fit on any CI two. Um, so cool. CI is uh, carbide insert. That's what the CI means, carbide insert. <coughs> and two is the size of the bar, and whatever fittings on here. So if there's a CI two tool, it should fit on it. Yeah, there you go. I think we're done, boys. What time is it? Nine o'clock. No, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice little bowl. We could sand that up and put a put a little bit of. Uh... But it's just a practice bowl for me now, so yeah, we'll do something else with it tomorrow. So let me bring you two guys back in. Anybody any questions on what's happened today, what I've done, and what we've messed about with? What did Bob say? When I do that, I cheat. I use my beading tool set. Oh, okay, nothing wrong with that. Whatever that's works. That's why. That's what. That's why they make uh, beading tools. That's mm. why they make them. Douglas says, "What about Same putting a tenon in a mortise?" I have mortise and a tenon, or a tenon and a mortise. Yeah, that's a peat special. Is it? it only happens when peat's here. Paul Cameron says, "Thanks very much, Brian. Great demo. Hope everyone else got something from it too." Good. Ah, it's well, all just a bit of fun. Just, that's it. That was all it was for Thursday night. I just needed to relax a wee bit because I've been a bit stressed this week. So I thought we'd come on and have a bit of fun and just mess about with some colour and a bit of texture. And there he He goes. was worrying about Michelle after he'd that's gone to the woodshed. I, that's what I've done. <laughs> that's the best I, I had fun doing it. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I know did Terry he? did because he just likes to I always have fun. take the mic out of everybody and stuff. That's good. <laughs> Great live. Brian says, Ruth. Okay. Thank you, Ruth. Good on your own. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming in and watching. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you. Well, not on a Monday, by the way. 360 uh, night, isn't it? 360 club. 360 night. Monday. And, uh, Any members of the 360 club here? If not, join the 360. We're turning 360.com. I'm doing a demo on thread chasing. Terry is doing a thread chasing go on demo. doing it. Thread chasing demo. Da, 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 da. Okay. Looking forward Rock. to that, Terry. I have yeah. my tool all made up. And good run, Rock. good man. I shall be having a little practice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rob says he got something for it. Bring sunglasses in case Brian gets his legs out again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rob. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rob. Cheers, mate. Don't forget the little, yeah. uh, the little moisture meters, guys. If you want one, put a comment in the, uh, in the, the uh, chat. Not in the chat. No, not in the no, chat. In the, not in the chat. In the, uh, in the video comments. after it's published by YouTube. And uh, how long does it take, Brian? About an hour or, or more? Is uh, it about, about 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty quick. Yeah. Um, so if you uh, if you want one, I'll see you there then, Bob. Yeah. Just put uh, moisture meter in the in the uh, in the, in, in the comments, in the comments. moisture meter. Yeah, okay. And, and uh, we'll Brian do a random we'll draw, and there's there are two to go, so and I'll I'll post them free of charge to whoever wins them. Good on you, Brian. Okay. Right, we're done. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks very much for watching, guys. That's it for today. Um, who's on now? Let me see. What day is this? Thursday. Friday will be uh, Wayne Woodtunner again, is it? What Friday? Steve. Oh, no, Steve. It's Steve. SK. Of course Steve. it is. It's Steve. Special night this uh, week. That's right. We're having a special, it's a special guest here, weren't we? Hope. <laughs> it uh, is. It's two. A, a 
if everything comes together, let's get our fingers crossed. And it's going to be easy with tools, owners. Yep. And if, if the, yeah, hope, hopefully, uh, Doug and Chris, is that the two? Chris. Yeah, I think it's Doug and Chris. Yeah. So hopefully they'll Doug be on. Chris. Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll see how that goes. Um, Saturday will be Wayne, and Saturday afternoon will be Jamie and the uh, the Saturday morning cartoons. Jake, yeah. Uh, with Jamie and Jake. And uh, Sunday, we're back to Steve again. For um, And himself Jake. down below here. Uh, and Monday, catering. you got me no. doing it. We're turning yeah. 360 down. No, we'll have catering with Nikki on Sunday. Yeah. With Steve with doing something in the background. I don't know what that's about. Uh, Terry on Sunday night and 360 Club Monday, guys. Yeah. That's it. And Thanks don't forget, everybody. Don't night, forget, guys. Doug Miller is all on at the moment, apparently. Yeah, not over and see Doug. That's where I'm going. Say hello. We'll say hello. Um, I didn't know he was on. That's why I came on. So oh. there you go. It, it is where it is. Um, so good night, all. Say good night, boys. Everybody. Trevor all says right. thank you all. Take care, everyone. Thanks for coming. Bye, in. everyone. See you soon. Bye, guys. Cheers, guys.